Cabin fever's got a little bit of Ryan Weaver to get you going this morning. Get closer on a red Friday. Come on. Big shot coming out from the shadows. I'm tracking every move. Got a little bit of a late start. Hey. Back in town. Here we go. But guess what? I've been waiting for a time like this. Friday morning, and welcome to the Yo Bro Show. Oh yeah, getting closer. It's Friday. You can almost clock out for the week, people. That's right. Live from the the tiny house of rock over here in beautiful and historic Old Hickory Village, just outside of beautiful and historic Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, welcome to the Yo Bro Show. Your daily dose of just a little bit of lunacy. And, uh, and who knows who knows what else it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, so I am your humble host. I'm Trey, your favorite God-loving, patriotic rock and roller. And uh, I thought I'd start off this morning with a little bit of my boy Ryan Weaver. Oh, yeah. And listen, I ain't going to lie. It was hard getting up this morning. <laughs> Man, good strong cup of joe, and we are ready to go. Mm. So, uh, and, just, and a couple of guys have asked... At some point, yes, Ryan will come on the show. Um, if, and if we can't do it in person, I'll get him on. Uh, I'll get him on Facetime because I got Facetime to work the other day. So I will. Uh, I'll have Brother Weaver on there. So go check out his tunes, man. Good patriotic, rocking country from my boy Ryan Weaver. And in fact, I don't know if I've ever really shared with you guys, but that back there, that is the wall of Weaver. That's all those pictures, with the exception of one. Those are all like bucket list moments that I've had with my brother Ryan Weaver. Hey, so uh, I will start off today by giving a few shout outs. Hey, shout outs to uh, my friends who may be watching the replay over at the Shadow Warriors Motorcycle Club. Uh, we love you guys. Shadow Warriors is a, uh, a motorcycle club full of folks who uh, support and raise money for our veterans and our first responders. A great organization. I'll be down there. Yeah, I will be down there in September uh, helping support them at their fundraiser for Beyond the Battlefield, another great organization I want to get a shout out to. Um, and... Uh, um, anyway, I, I, there, there's a great organization. Look those guys up, man. So Shadow Warriors and Beyond the Battlefield, they are two great organizations that take care of our veterans uh, and our first responders. Uh, great, great folks. Ryan is going to be down there, too, shaking hands and kissing babies. Hey, bud, if you're watching, maybe we did, maybe I didn't bring the acoustic. Maybe we need to do a little acoustic something, something. I'm just saying, you know, I don't ever travel without a guitar. Um, anyway, it is Red Friday. We're going to remember everybody deployed. As well you should, the people who are standing in the gap and fighting for our freedoms so we can do things like broadcast from our dining room slash office uh, freely in this wonderful country and talk about talk about all the things that are important to us around here, such as God, country, and rock and roll. So there you go. So who all is on this morning? I've given, hey, I've given you a minute, okay? I've given you all a minute. Not everybody's sounded off, but let's see. Oh, ooh, look. I got people watching this morning. Well, good morning, Fred. What's up, David? What's up, Charlie Elrod? Good morning. Pastor Welburn is on. There you go. Hey, Soul Revival in their new location at Redeemed Church in Lebanon. Tonight, my brother Wade Williams is leading worship. Check them out on their live stream, a Soul Revival Biker Church. So, hey, welcome to those of you guys who are watching on Soul Revival this morning. Um, that, uh, that's, that's a good, good thing. Good morning, Rick Stanton. Broken chains in the house down there in Florida. Good morning, Deb. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Chris Wilburn will be on. Now, like I said, we got to figure out how we're going to fit both of us in this tiny little box, but we will. <laughs> That's going to happen. Good. That's going to happen. Good morning, Terry Lee Yoho. Mm. And uh, David, hey, brother, I'm not going, so I'm going to be the person to catch a ride with you tonight, brother. I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. So we're going to have to catch a ride with one of the other parishioners uh, at the moment. Yeah, I know getting out to Lebanon maybe 
Isn't that easy? Isn't that easy to do? But boy, I tell you what, that is a that's worth the trip. That place out there is wonderful. So good, uh, good Friday morning to you. I think I've given out the majority of my shout outs. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way right now. Let me go ahead and get my straight pimping out of the way. Boom. Today we are straight pimping our brother. And it's been a minute since I've done straight pimping, but here you Nine Line Apparel, okay? Great veteran-owned company in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, they have an entire line of uh, Ryan Weaver. Uh, well, they got all kinds of stuff, but they also have a, these specifically like this red shirt right here. Come on. It's got the, the Weaver Country W on the back. Um, they have a they have a, uh, an entire line of, of Ryan Weaver uh, shirts and things like that. Everything they've got on that website, though, is patriotic and is super, super cool. Uh, lots of cool, fun T-shirts. Uh, and, hey, just show your patriotism. It's a veteran-owned company. They employ veterans. They do as much work as possible here in the United States. There are occasionally, you can actually, are occasionally times when you may get a T-shirt where the shirt may have been manufactured someplace else. But, I mean, they're all screened here in the U.S. And you can actually pay a couple of dollars more and get shirts shirts made in the U.S. too. So it's a very, very well-run business. They're great people. They give to their community. They support veterans. They support groups that support veterans. Um, a great bunch of people at Nine Line Apparel. Check those guys out. Uh, I think I put a link over there in the comments or wherever the comments or wherever the directions are. <laughs> Whatever the description is, I put them in there. Um, did I get all my shout outs? Look at that. I actually, had, I actually wrote down my shout outs today because I've been so scatterbrained lately. And I knew because I woke up late, I knew that this was not functioning completely well. This is this is cup of coffee number one. And I'm just going to go ahead and warn you, if I get to the bottom of this cup and we're not done, y'all just going to have to sit there a second because I might have to go get another one. I'm just saying, you may have to talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Hey, that's all good. That's all good. Oh, man. All right. So, I'm, hey, I'm already tired. I've been talking fast. Um, it's Friday, and like I said, it's good Good Friday. It's always a good Friday. It's Red Friday. Let's remember everyone deployed. Um and uh, remember, we got a lot going on in the country right now. There's a lot of, a lot of this going on. Listen, hey, I, and again, I'm not going to wade into the political fracas. I'm not gonna. Um, but all I'm going to say is this: um, no matter which side of the aisle you find yourself on, um, I'm just going to say that uh, just for as you know, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And as far as political affiliations go, we're going to vote for the person, not the party. And all I got to say is it's time for everybody to pick which creepy, old, rich, white dude you're going to vote for. There you go. That's it. That's all I've said. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Ziggy. Yeah. Lord, have, Lord, have mercy on all of us. Oh, Lord, 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 have sp <laughs> Jesus, come get me. Jesus, come get me now. <laughs> If you don't believe, hey, listen, if you don't believe the Bible and you think the Bible's a bunch of hooey, that's great. You're going to be thinking that right up until the trumpet sounds. <laughs> and then you're going to be like, oh, them Jesus freaks was right. Yeah. Here come the tribulation. Anyway, I'm sorry. And I should not make fun of the tribulation. Anyway, I'm not even going into that. I'm not going into that. You know, someday maybe we'll go down the rabbit hole and we'll start talking about the book of Revelation and all that scary stuff. But it is not this day. So anyway, uh, let's see. What have you guys got to say there? Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, Milo's on. Hey, Milo. Milo's on. What's up, brother? Hey, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It's a beautiful day. Boom. There you go, Milo. That's for you, baby. Hey, so um, I, I, uh, I got to tell you guys, this is day 115 of being held captive by pending uh, poverty. Um, so I've been out of work 115 days. But today, y'all, thank you for your prayers. Today is the day. One way or another, today is the day. Don't ask me how I know because I don't want to, I, I don't know if I, I don't, we're in a world where if I accept an offer from somebody, they're going to do a background check and part of the background check means they're going to poke around on Facebook. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything because they might be poking around on my Facebook page right now. I don't want to jinx it. Anyway, but hopefully, uh, hopefully today is the day. Hopefully today is the day. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you for your prayers. And I will say this. Uh, I, I will say this. You know, we've been talking. And I, and listen, I, I'm still in the book of James this morning. All right. So I'm, I'm not done with James. I've been there all week. Um, and remember, consider it pure joy when you go through the tribulations and trials and things like that. And it, I'm, I'm telling you, this whole little stretch of time, being out of work, getting divorced, starting my life over and all the things like that. I'm telling y'all, um, 
if I've lost a wink of sleep, it's only been because of silly things like my neck hurting or like perhaps like I still haven't figured I got to put darkening shades on my windows and they wake me, you know, the sun wakes me up. I'm telling you, um, God has taken such good care of me. God has absolutely blessed me beyond what I deserve. And so if you're one of those people and you're watching right here, you're going, gosh, there you go. He's talking about God again. Yeah, sorry. There you go. That's it. I have made it through this time. I've, I, I've been, I've been absolutely blessed. I haven't missed paying a bill. Granted, a lot of the bills, the people were like, hey, well, they'll give you a couple of months. You know, you sign the little thing here and they'll, they'll boot all your payments back. That's cool. So, but I, I've kept the lights on. I've kept a roof over my head. I've kept my babies fed, kept me fed, uh, kept gas in the tank and been able to do what I needed. God has blessed me beyond what I deserve. That's all I'm going to say about that. So anyway, so and I guess all that is to say is that with it being Friday and some of you guys have been working hard all weekend, getting ready to clock out and enjoy your weekend. I've been on permanent weekend for like 115 days. I, I, I never thought I'd ever say this, but I'm so ready to go back to work. Ah! <laughs> mm, anyway. It's funny as I'm sitting here, as I'm sitting here, like nodding my head and telling you I'm ready to go back to work. Look who else. That's what baby Yoda says too. Yep. Ready to go back to work. Yep. Ready to go back to work. Yep. I'm ready to go back to work. Yep. Anyway, that was a terrible Yoda imitation. Anyway. All right. So, and, and just so you know, all right, this, this is our quote for the day. I hope you can read that. If you're on your phone, you may not be able to read that. I had to make it small. I want to know who knows what, what movie that line is from. Hey, Ryan's on. What's up, baby? Yep, I was just straight pimping you a second ago, brother. Y'all want Ryan Weaver's on here. Give him a shout out over there in the comments. Oh, yeah, baby. I played Time Like This to start the show, bro. That's right. I'm, pump, I'm, I'm straight pimping, man. I got Time Like This queued up to play again on our way out. So, uh, anyway, um, you guys, yeah, everybody give a shout out over there. You guys, <laughs> you guys give a shout to, to, to Ryan. He's joined us over here uh, on the feed. Merrick Key in the house. All right, dude. Come on. Brandon's on. Brandon, what's up, baby? Now, I don't understand why over here I can see who's joined, and over here you got to say something. Anyway, Michelle Clark is on. What's up? Debbie's on. Rick. Wow, okay. I got all, okay. I don't know what's going on, but I can, anyway. Hey, all I know is whoever's on, I'm glad you're on. All right, so, here, so check it out, y'all. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. All right, so you know I've been like, this week has been one of those weeks where I've been like, mm, mm, mm. I've been, I've been reading the book of James. And the thing is, is that guys for, and again, for, if you're one of these people that is not sure you believe the Bible, Hey, let me just, let me just put you at ease for just a second. Okay. And I thought about this the other day. Um, if you're one of those people who maybe thinks that the Bible doesn't count and, and it was written all those years ago and just, you know, and I'm not sure I'm buying into all this thing you Jesus freaks are saying. I get, I, dude, I totally get it. I mean, I totally get it. I'm not mad at you and I'm not going to, I'm not going to go boom, 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 and slam you on the head with it because that's just not going to do you any good. I mean, at the very least, okay, I'm going to tell you right now, and some of y'all are going to yell at me. Some of y'all are going to be mad at me. Some of my bible beating buddies. Well, I don't think we have a lot of bible beaters in this crew. But hey, here's the deal. At the very least, okay, you don't believe it, that's fine. This book, this book right here, this is the, that's the Word of God. And if you don't believe it's the Word of God, that's fine. But when you read it, don't tell me it doesn't count. One thing has not changed in over 2,000 years since this book was completed. One thing has not changed that is human nature. People are people are people are people. It has not changed. The crap that they were dealing with, or the same crap that we're dealing with, it just looked different in those days. You know what I mean? But it's still all about interpersonal relationships and all the things that we struggle with. I mean, so it's a philosophy book, okay? Fine. If one of your highfalutin, you know, professors in college <laughs> told you to study this for a test. I mean, you would, it's, you know, anyway, so the book of James, I really dig. This was James. This is the brother of Jesus. How'd you like to be this kid? How'd you like to be this kid? <laughs> He's one of he's one of Joseph and Mary's natural kids, and so he's grown up in the house with the freaking Messiah, right? <laughs> Can you imagine? It's always like, why can't you be more like Jesus? He's like, gee, mom, I'm sorry, I can't turn water to wine, you know that kind of thing. Anyway, so James, he ends up he ends up dropping this book uh, towards the end of the New Testament, and he and he writes this book, and he's an old man now, and he's trying to sum up everything. And uh, this is one of the things that I think for all of you guys, uh, for one, this is one of the things I think that um, is really, really cool is that, and I, and I jokingly, yes, this, is the, this book was written across the back of a two by four, a holy two by four with which <coughs> cracks across the back of your head. Cause I mean, he pulls no punches. He's got, dude's got no filter. I love it. It's like reading Greg Locke. Boom. Right? <laughs> so check it out. So James chapter two, verse 14, check it out. Uh, what good is, 
what good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but no deeds? Okay, deeds being doing anything, right? I have faith, but I don't do anything. Can such faith... Hang on. Yeah, I know. Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? So it's like, hey, I'll pray for you. <laughs> God bless you. God loves you. Right? If one of you... Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes or daily food, somebody who's in need, and you say, if one of you says to them, go in peace, you know, be, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? Well, let me tell you what good it is. In the same way, faith by itself, if, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. So here's the deal. Here's, here's the thing that I, I have been challenged with this week. First of all, I'm, I'm seriously, there's only like five chapters, and this book is short, Man, he this this has been he this brother has been from beyond the grave and poking me right in the eye all week long. Here's the deal: we all talk about having faith in God, but here's the thing, and this is a challenge, and it's something that I got guys. I'm a giving and loving person. Sometimes I still struggle with this whole thing. Put your faith in action, just like your sweetie, whether you're sweetie be boy, whether you're sweetie be girl, okay, or you're sweetie be whatever. Um, hey, here's the deal. At some point in time, there's only so many times you can say, uh, at some point, there, there's only so many times that you can say, I love you. At some point, you got to show them. Well, that's what this is. If you say you love God, in, in, you've got to show your faith in God by taking care of the people around you. If somebody has a need and you say, hey, good luck with that. <laughs> I'll be praying for you. You know, look, we can't always give, give, give. I mean, at some point you have to take care of yourself too, I understand. But there are so many instances, and I'm going to call all of us out. I'm, and I'm saying all of us because this, just this week, I, I look back on a couple of things. I'm like, you know what? I should have done something. Should have done something. Yeah, don't, don't have those kinds of regrets. If the Spirit, if you're, and, and this is the thing, this is one of these people that don't believe in the Holy Spirit and they don't believe all this Bible mumble jumbo, that little thing in your heart that tells you, you know what, I should totally help that person move. I, they, they need help to get from point A to point B. That person needs, you know what, I got 20 bucks. Let me give them 20. That, that spirit in you that tells you to act, that is the Holy Spirit. That is your faith in action. And whether you believe in God or not, one of the things you've got to understand is in, inside all of us, there's that need to commune and there's that, that need to take care of one another. And I'm telling you, I to truly believe it's the Holy Spirit and just some people aren't awake enough to understand it's the Holy Spirit. But that's a whole other discussion for a whole other day. So anyway, that's our, that's our book of James poking the eye for the day. So remember, you know, loving God's one thing. Faith without action is dead. So and just like just like love, love, just saying I love you, I love you, I love you is great. Put your feet in motion. I, I used to, God, I, I need to, this belongs on the t-shirt. Hey, love God, but move your feet. You got to put your feet, you got to do something to take care of other people without a doubt. Ah, there you go. Okay. Men are little, like little, like let's put a pin in that. We'll come back to it. Um, as I come back to, as I come back, I can't keep up with you guys. You guys are awesome. Oh, Ryan's being interviewed by Tommy Lauren today. This is awesome. If you don't know who Tommy Lauren is, she's a, she's a, well, you've probably seen her popping through your Facebook feed a while back. Real pretty blonde chick. Uh, she is a ultra conservative sort of, um, I guess, I don't know. She's like a, like a web show sort of host person. Anyway, she's really, really cool. Has a huge following. Ryan, good luck on that interview. That is going to be cool. That is, that is cool. Um, hey, good morning, Judy. How are you? Hey, Michelle. Good morning, Miss Patty. Rock on, rock on. Oh, God. Y'all, okay. God, y'all say preach. I'm like, I'm not a preacher. I'm just an idiot who just, I don't know. But I, I feel like now I just need to get out of the guitar and make a bunch of noise. <laughs> I'm out of my comfort zone. Anyway, hey, have y'all noticed this? Because it's starting to distract me. One of my eyes is darker than the other. And I don't know if it's because these lights are wrong. <laughs> Sorry, squirrel. Anyway, yeah, God's got his finger on the button on that one. Anyway, um, so there we go. Hey, sermon over. There you go. I, I done. I, I guess if you guys say preach, great. I preached. There we go. I preached. Hey, what's up, Jim Howe? Good morning. Um, anybody know? I haven't seen. Does anybody know the quote of the day? I've been I've been digging out, and I'm not gonna lie. I've been digging out movie quotes every now and then, and they're they're usually pretty manly quotes. I hate to say it. I'm not being sexist. What's wrong with being sexy? No, sexist. Right. Oh, that's a different. Anyway, yeah. So I'm just wondering if anybody knows what what movie. If Rick Lay was on here this morning, he'd know exactly what that's from. Yes, Fred Marshall. Boom. <laughs> Aliens. Gosh, one of my absolute favorite 
movies ever. Yeah, my gosh, guys, Corporal Hudson, man, absolutely, man. Yep, absolutely. Is this a stand-up fight or just another bug hunt? All right, there you go, Fred. You get the big no prize for the day for went for figuring that out. Anyway, um, all right. So I've already run through my agenda. That's it. That's it. I've run through my agenda. I've run through James. We done. We done. We done chit chatted amongst ourselves. I've thrown up the movie quote of the day. Oh, what we haven't done is this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Just hey, take a second. And even when I even when I forget this, you need to do this anyway. Hey, hey, you, hey. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a choice. If you took a deep breath this morning when you got up, and I do this every single day, deep breath. Thank you, God, for another day. Another chance to make a difference. Another chance to get it right. Another chance to love on people. Uh, whatever it is, this is the day. It is this day. Because you, you don't know how many of these you're going to get. And you don't know how many of these our friends over here are going to get. Or over here or wherever they are. So love on people while you can. That's it. Encourage people, pump them up, love on people. That's that's your homework. All right. Over the weekend, I'm gonna go back into the 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 woodshed and start working on some things. Jump in, love on some people. All right. That's how that that's it. That's how we're doing it. That's how we that's how we do things over here in Yobro Land. Um, I <laughs> my God missed our call again yesterday. Today, and like I'm I don't know what this is today, and that's yesterday. Um, today at 9.30, I've got that conference call with the guys who are helping me with my switchboard technology so I can start streaming to the YouTube and to uh, other points of uh, that will be coming forward. I got stuff in the works, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I know I've been promising you. I look, I know it seems odd. Like I can't even get simple things done like you know doing side-by-side -side interviews. I, I, it's coming, okay? I'm getting there. Um, I'm getting there. Um, but... Um, Anyway, so I got my conference call with those guys today at 9.30, and I'm gonna, so hopefully by next week I'll be actually streaming on YouTube instead of just being able to, instead of just uploading the shows when they're done. Uh, and then, so if you haven't done it yet, hop over to YouTube and look for Tiny House of Rock, and please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to start blowing that up because I think more people have access to YouTube than have access to the, to the Facebook. And judging by what goes on on the Facebook in your news feed, a lot of people I'm hearing, more and more people are just like, deuces. <laughs> <laughs> they're out. They don't want to listen to all the, the crap that's going on, and I don't blame them. Um, so if you don't mind, hop over there and, uh, and give that page a, 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 sub, a subscribe to the Tiny House of Rock. There's much more programming coming your way. Many different things, more than just the Yo Bro Show. I have My, my mind is full and brimming full of all kinds of crazy ideas. Um, and one might ask why I haven't been doing all of this since I've been home for 115 days without a job. I kind of wondered the same thing. I don't know, but God just put it in me in the past couple of weeks. So there we go. There we go. All right. Hey, so here's how we go. Oh, real quick. I do have to tell you guys something. I don't know if is Keith, has Keith Whitworth hopped on yet this morning? That, hey, what's up, Burko? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, Michael Curtis? Um, okay. So anyway, I, I, Keith Whitworth met, uh, came to town this week. He, he, unfortunately he had a funeral to attend. Keith Whitworth is one of our yo Broers from up in Springfield, Missouri. And he and I worked together at Gibson. Uh, he and I worked together at Gibson Guitars um, twenty something years ago. But for the first time in, in, in a long time, I guess the la I haven't really gotten a chance to meet up with many of our yo Bowers. Bub and Lisa moved down here, and I've seen Fred and I've seen Tim. They've come to see us. But here, just just real quick, the oh, hang on a second. That is that's me. Hang on a second. Let me see if. There you go. There's your boy Keith Whitworth right there. <laughs> Keith and I had lunch together. He and I had not actually seen each other. He did pop by Soul Revival one time last year. Um, he did pop by Soul Revival one time last year, uh, so I did get to see him then. But um, but anyway, he and I worked together for 20, you know, 20 years ago at Gibson. We had a great catch-up time. Uh, he is running a wonderful recovery ministry at his church in uh, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, all around good dude. So hey, listen, I will say this. I haven't had a chance to meet all the yo Broers. A bunch of our yo Broers go to church with me, so that's kind of that's kind of cheating. We get to see each other all the time. But if you come to this town and you don't look me up so I can at least come out and we can break bread together, I'm going to be mad. That's right. Not mad. Matt. M-A-T. Matt. I'm going to be mad. So anyway, so... There's your boy Keith Whitworth. Look him up. Uh, I'm going to pray us out of here, and we're going to go jump on this Friday. We're going to go jump into this Friday, okay? You got a whole weekend ahead. Attack this day. Go love on some people. Man, I thought, God, this this morning, I was laying I was laying it down, man. I'm on my knees, and I'm just laying it in. I'm talking to God, and I kept hearing 
Alex Barefoot, the minister of Eastside Church in uh, in Charlotte, who I went to a men's retreat, and he kept talking about leaning into it. And I was thinking, yeah, just lean into it today, man. Just just lean into that Holy Spirit. Lean into the love of your fellow man today. Love on somebody, even somebody who doesn't deserve it, man. Uh, just lean into this today. Let's do that over this weekend. Let's love on some people. And remember, let's love on the families of our men and women who are deployed because they are making a sacrifice too. Uh, love on those people, all right? So uh, let's break it down real quick. If you drive and don't close your eyes, otherwise, whew, let's tune in. God, we thank you for this day. God, I thank you for another chance to take this day and give this day to you. You've given us all breath. You've given us all a heart. And you've given us all the Holy Spirit, whether we want to admit that's what it is or not, to help one another. God, I thank you for this opportunity for us to get together and just spend a little time and uh, just have a few smiles and a few laughs. God, I just thank you so much for all these folks who tune in each week and uh, each day. And I know that in some cases, you know, sometimes this is just our chance to recharge one another so that we can take that light out into the world because the world's dark right now, God. And we, we thank you for the chance to be your light and uh, help us be bold and not hide our light under a bushel, like it says in the Bible, not to hide our light under a bushel, but rather be that shining city on a hill because the, the light... The light of a city on a hill cannot be hidden. God, that's who we need to be. Thank you for putting that in us and help us share that love with everybody today. We might be the only light somebody sees today. Embolden us to, to love on somebody today and show them what it's really like to, to, to love and to serve a God that loves us unconditionally. God, thank you for forgiveness and a chance to start new every single day. Somebody right now needs to understand, and, 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 and in one of these days, it always comes back around to me needing to understand that you love us, and that we need to get up off ourselves for where we fall short. And just remember, you don't call us to be perfect. You do not have to be perfect. You just need to be different. And so, God, I thank you for that. Let's carry that out there. Somebody needed to hear that today. Get up off yourself. God loves you. Dust yourself off. Turn off whatever it is that's, 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 that's holding you down. Turn your back on it and start walking towards the light. God, carry us through this weekend. Thank you for the men and the women who are standing in the harm's way for us. Those who are deployed and their families who are, who, are, who are having to live without them. And please, please put an extra special dose of peace upon those families and continue to embolden the men and women who serve our country and our first responders and the folks who are at home standing in harm's way, protecting the freedoms that some of these yahoos just don't even seem to understand that they have, and they don't understand that the people that are protecting their very freedoms are the people that they're attacking. God bless all of these folks who have a heart for serving in that way. God, carry us through this weekend and get us all back together again on Monday. Keep all of the families here safe. Give everybody just an extra pour out grace and mercy upon all of these families and the peace that passes all understanding. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bam. Yo, bro. All right, there you go. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hang on. I'll, yeah, that's it. Milo, humble and kind. See, I'd play that song, but I think Tim McGraw's people have already told me I can't play his music on here anymore. But see, Ryan will let me play his music. <laughs> here we go. Time like this. Come on. If it'll play. Come on. There you go. All right, there we go. All right, so if y'all get a second, hop over to iTunes or Google Play or wherever you get your music. And, uh, and check out, this is Time Like This. This is Ryan, and it's been, it was written by Ryan Weaver and one of our brothers, Adam McDonough. Um, this is a great tune, so go, go download it. In fact, go download this, and then this needs to be you. Just get up in the morning and just crank it, because every day is a time like this, right? Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. All right, so anyway, if you want to... You guys can email. I'm starting to get more emails. It's the cutest thing. So thank you for the guys. Anybody who emails me here. Or you can find us on YouTube. Oh, yeah. That's it, baby. Check out our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Lots of good things coming to the YouTube channel and other places. Oh, my gosh. I appreciate you guys all being on here this morning. I always, always appreciate you guys. I never take for granted a single day that you guys tune in. And thank you. Please like. Please share. Send it out into the hedges and the highways. Just share, share, share. Somebody needs to hear this this morning. I don't know who it is. Somebody ask the question. Somebody ask the magic question. There we go. Fred Marshall. Fred Marshall asked the question. Brother, yep, we're still on. I love you guys. Everybody go make it a great day and a great weekend. 
go get them. Peace.